Do you remember when you first heard the words, love your neighbor? Perhaps uh, added to it was the phrase, as thyself. Anyway, you have neighbors. You may be living with a neighbor. They may be driving you mad. You may be living next door to a neighbor. They may not be the most friendly people in the world. Your country may have a neighbor. And it may be being invaded. Anyway, who is your neighbor? I want you to come on a little journey with me, Toastmasters to the time when I first discovered my neighbor being shown to me. It was 1956. It was late autumn in 1956. In fact, it was early winter in 1956 and it was cold and damp. And I was in short trousers and I was taken by my parents out of the home where we lived, a very short distance away to a field. And inside the field were army huts. You know, those kind of Nissan huts that have Ruse a little like that. Out of the hut came a man and a woman, both wearing dark clothes. That's all I can remember. They got into the car. They were complete strangers. I had no idea. It was Christmas Day. They came to our house and they sat at the table. I remember them across the other side of the table having Christmas dinner with us in family. Most intimate meal of the year, perhaps. And I thought, who are these people? And my mother and father showed love. They served them first. My father carved the turkey. My mother put the vegetables on the plate and put it down in front of these strangers. Who were they? They were displaced people, refugees, if you like, from 1956 when Soviet tanks went in to Hungary and suppressed the revolution, the rebellion in Hungary, and thousands of people became displaced refugees. 541 came to Ireland, and all of the Hungarian refugees were in Nocnesin camp, just a short distance from the city of Limerick where I lived. And that marked me for life. You know how when you're young, something that you see can stick with you for the rest of your life. Well, it did me. These strangers were treated like people to love, as if they were our neighbors. This became extraordinarily relevant recently. When Russia invaded Ukraine, when Russia bombed Mariupol, oh, I won't name the cities. It, it's an absolutely desperate situation and you know it. You know, because it's in your news, you know it because you care. Ukraine bombed cruise missiles, threats of even worse, and thousands of refugees coming to Scotland. Already your first minister is committed to taking 4,000 refugees. We have thousands in Ireland too. And here's the reason why I felt it was so poignant and so important that I speak to you today about it. You know, we're Toastmasters International. How many clubs, how many members? Do we have in Ukraine? We have nine clubs, a goodly number of them in Kyiv and one in Odessa for sure. We have club presidents. We have people who've entered speech contests. We have people who have been contest chairs there. Where are they now? Well, I know where they are and you know where they are. A whole lot of the women and with their children got on got out of the country if they could. And they're now in Poland. They're now perhaps some coming to a place near you. 
Others are on the front line with Kalashnikovs fighting back. It's a desperate situation. And I have felt enfeebled by it, unsure what I could do, unable to be confident that I could fight the good fight on behalf of Ukraine. But there is something you can do, and there's something that I can do too. Some of your writers, some of your speakers, in other words, your communicators, those of you who are poets can write poetry about it. Those of you who write short stories can write short stories about it. But every single one of you today is a communicator. You can talk about it. That unconscious seeping in of the example that I was given, fortunate enough to be given back in my home and my house from my parents, that, that love, it wasn't, I wasn't told to love my neighbors those days. I was shown it in action. You can show it in action by the way in which you care. You can do communication. You could send money to the Red Cross. You can also volunteer to, to bring people into your home and give them a place to live. You're not incapable of doing anything. It's your choice what you'd like to do. I've come here today to communicate with you because, well, just between you and me, that's about all I want to do these days. I don't want to talk about my dog who at my homework i i don't want to bring any other message other than it's good to work out who your neighbor is who you include and it's really really good to prove your humanity by loving your neighbor thank you <laughs>